people. Here now with the very latest on the ground in Israel, at the Israel-Gaza border, is our own Trey Yanks. Trey. Sean, good evening. A massive escalation tonight by the factions inside Gaza who fired dozens of rockets towards Israel's second largest city, Tel Aviv. Just before we came on with you here, Sean, there were more rockets fired from the Gaza Strip and we saw different barrages from different areas of Gaza. Israel's missile defense system, the Iron Dome, was able to intercept a number of these rockets that were fired. But unfortunately, according to Israeli media, there has been another fatality. They're looking into other injuries after certain rockets impacted areas in central Israel. This all comes amid a day of fighting. The past 24 hours, we've seen more than 500 rockets fired from Gaza into southern and central Israel. It all started yesterday around 6 p.m. when Hamas, the group in control of Gaza, threatened to fire rockets towards Jerusalem. They kept their promise and did just that. Israel has been responding across the Gaza Strip with airstrikes and drone strikes. We do know inside Gaza, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry, at least 30 people are dead, some of them children. On the Gazan side, we also know that Islamic Jihad has lost at least three rocket commanders from targeted strikes by the Israelis and a 13-story building also destroyed. As the factions there say, if any more towers are hit, they will fire more rockets towards Tel Aviv. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says that he will use all the force that he can to restore security to the area. One area of note and off in the distance now, we can hear explosions inside Gaza. Those are fighter jets targeting more positions in response to that rocket fire that just happened a few moments ago. Sean. All right, Trey, great reporting, by the way. Stay safe.